For this man, giving was a family tradition. For nearly a century, Joseph Thomas lived a life of silent strength. As his three daughters remember, he was a man that led through his actions, if not his words. My dad said he didn't need to talk. He lived with four women. <laughs> uh, there were times where my dad would answer the phone and say, Joe's hen house, which chick would you like to speak to? An Oregon native, Joe graduated from Beaverton High School in the 1940s and went straight into the Navy and World War II. That led to a life of community service. He still was very quiet. You never knew he had all these things that he did. Just. He would just do them. While working a full-time job as a Northwest Natural crew leader, Joe was for decades a volunteer firefighter. In fact, the last one to serve in the now defunct Beaverton Fire Department. He and his wife helped can food drives, raised money for the Ronald McDonald House, and he was very active in the Toy and Joy Makers, a firefighter's nonprofit that is still going strong to this day. And that's when people brought used and broken things, and the firemen throughout the year would work on the bikes and paint them and fix toys. On Christmas Eve, Joe would take his young daughters with him as he delivered toys to families in need. It made you realize, I think, when you got to someone's house, what they didn't have and what we have. His giving spirit would continue for the rest of a long and healthy life. Even in his 90s, he still delivered food for Meals on Wheels until he finally fell ill in November, one month shy of his 97th birthday. Before he passed away, I, I said, Dad, you just need to let go. I said, it's okay. I said, what are you waiting for? And he opened one eye and he just looked at me and said, Christmas. He passed on November 9th. And while planning his memorial service, Joe's daughters tried to think of a way to properly honor a man who lived to help others. Sally said, in lieu of flowers, let's have everyone bring a toy. And everyone did. This was at the service then? Yes. Most of it, except for a few stragglers that have come from Amazon. So initially, you just got it at the funeral service, and then what did you do with them after that? My favorite TV station was doing a toy drive. So. Oh, I heard of those guys. Yes. This week, Joe's daughters brought his gifts to our Fox 12 studios, knowing that they will help brighten the holiday season for so many local kids. And I asked them, what would Joe think of this? Oh, he would be excited. I mean, I think he's excited that we carry on that legacy of giving. And these three sisters hope that their dad's example will inspire others to share their generosity, not just at Christmas time, but throughout the year. The best way to remember someone who lived to give. Dad didn't believe he was put on earth for himself. He was put on earth to help other people. Oh, uh, when we were, I was at their home, and one of the things I asked afterwards, I said, okay, because he was a volunteer firefighter yeah. for decades. I said, did anyone bring a fire truck? And they brought oh, there was this little fire truck yes. underneath the tree. So a very special uh, gift from that what family. What a beautiful yeah. tribute to his yeah. life for them, because if you think about every single one of those gifts, will really make an impact on a local a, child. A number of kids. I mean, yeah. what an incredible yeah. story, Joe. Incredible Thank legacy. Thank you and to them. Incredible family, yes. And folks, you can follow their example. Yeah. You, you can uh, visit any Les Schwab Tire Center, Columbia Credit Union.